Every girl on Tinder just wants me to follow their Instagram. Ducking pointless. People that use Tinder got any good bad hookup stories? What's up my brother from another mother? All dad jokes aside, hope you're doing well and glad you came for another story time with your bro, Andrew. Majority of the guys that watch these videos don't sub, so prove them wrong by doing so, also like the video as well. If you do, I'll make sure they ban TikTok in America. Anyways, let's get into the stories. I chatted a girl up that had a nice dresser in one of her pics. I needed a dresser for my new house. She ended up selling it to me for $10. That was a good hookup. My buddy used it, found a girl, and they've been dating since around Easter. They have a totally normal relationship, except that we call her Tinder girl. Got drunk, liked everyone, went to sleep. Woke up, zero matches, deleted it in a fit of hungover anger. I am sexy and I know it, and ain't no duckin' app gonna tell me otherwise. Currently reading this thread while waiting to meet some girl from Tinder. Based on some of these responses I will either have a great time or she'll be nothing like her pictures. I will update later if anyone cares. Edit. And she never showed up. My friend ducked this stripper with half a shaved head and facial tattoos. She told him that she had been smoking meth all morning and that she had a boyfriend. We later found out that she's also pregnant. My friend said it was the best sex he's ever had in his entire life. I matched up with a 40-year-old recently single female and me in my mid-twenties. We met up at a bar, had a drink and ended up making out in the parking lot. A few nights later we met up at her place and watched a movie. Of course, we didn't really watch the movie. She gave the best blowjob I've ever had in my life and was a squirter. So, thanks Tinder. During university last year me and my buddies downloaded Tinder. I swiped right non-stop for a weekend and got about 300 matches and messaged all the attractive ones with various pickup lines. I had two one-night stands as a result of this and coincidentally it was the same line that worked on both. Sit on my face and I'll eat my way to your heart. I'm probably late to the party, but I'll share because my Tinder story is terrible and that's what we're all here to see. I matched with this really cute girl, all of her pictures were professionally done, like senior pictures. We texted for a few days and she seemed alright, not exactly interesting or funny but, as any sane male using Tinder, I wasn't looking for anything more than a hookup. One night she invited me to pick her up because she was sneaking out of her house. I agreed and drove to her neighborhood to meet her. I called her when I was at the gate and she sounded funny, it sounded like she was eating and her mouth was full. Thought nothing of it and waited for her to come out. She rounds the corner walking kinda funny and wearing weird clothes, like clothes a 12-year-old girl would wear. We're both 19, she gets in my car and she's kinda making a funny face. As she reached to hold my hand without saying hello, it hit me. This girl was retarded. Her little brother came running around the corner yelling telling her to come back because their parents were gonna go crazy. She yelled back out of my open window, it's okay, I'm with my boyfriend. He's gonna take care of me. I crap my ducking pants. I calmly told her she should probably go with her brother, but she wouldn't let go of my hand. After some convincing she went back with her brother and I sped the duck out of there. She called me about 20 times, texted me saying she needed me because her parents were going mental being mad at her. I sent one text back saying she should listen to them and not sneak out anymore and never texted her again. She still texts me to this day inviting me to go places with her family as her boyfriend and I never reply. Now I Skype everyone before I meet them in person. I matched a girl on there and we talked and flirted and eventually exchanged numbers. We texted for a few days, became Facebook friends, Skyped once, then made plans to hang out. She had a puppy that I told her to bring because puppies and she drove the hour to see me. She looked nothing like she did in any of her pictures or even when we Skyped, she was a different person and the puppy was just a piece of crap untrained mutt. I tried to make the best of it so we left to go buy some cookie dough and when we got back my roommate was outside, panting and super sweaty. I asked what he was doing, and he said her dog ran out the door as soon as it was opened, and he had been chasing it. 
I start freaking out at this point cause I though this girl's dog had rain away and I didn't know what to do, but fortunately my roommate had caught her. He tells me I need to go inside and look in my room though and to not touch her dog cause it was covered in crap. I walk inside and my entire apartment smelled like poop, the dog had jumped all over my couch and had gotten crap all over it, I go into my bedroom and the dog had crap and rolled in the crap all over my bed. At this point I figured I was going to murder this dog and eat this catfisher girl, but I realized it was easier to eat the dog and kill her. So I grab my 9 from the closet and just kidding. But after seeing how destroyed my apartment was from this tiny animal the girl started crying and got real upset and felt awful, and I felt bad that she wasn't having a good time, I mean I did invite her to come over and do something with me, so we cleaned everything up and made the cookies and sat down and watched a movie. After things had calmed down long enough, she motions toward my bedroom and I follow. Her dog follows us, jumps back onto my bed and pees in the middle of it. I had literally no reaction at this point and just cleaned it the best I could. What happened next was the greatest blowjob I had ever received. I'm not sure if she was trying to make up for everything, but damn this girl gave me 199%, I didn't know what was going on. We passed out and she left around 9 the next morning. I haven't spoken to her since. She had a real big butt too. Started flirting with this one girl. Eventually got her number, and she texted me on a daily basis. After two weeks of getting to know each other, she asks me to be her date at a Super Bowl party. Sounded fun to me so I thought why not. She said the party was at 5, but she wanted to come over around 330, even though it was a 10 minute ride there. Totally figured she wanted to hook up first, so I totally prepared myself for that. She shows up, I invite her in and I ask how long before we have to leave? She says it already started so we have to leave now. I thought that was weird, but I got in the car and drove there with blue balls the whole way. It was at a restaurant she worked at, and it was an employees and dates party. When we get there it pretty much hasn't started. Big surprise. We talk for about an hour and get to know each other, but it's painful because she's so shy. It was open bar, but she doesn't drink so I resisted the temptation. Eventually her co-workers come and I meet them. She told me one of them was an ex. It didn't really bother me. They seemed like good guys. A little on the scummy side though. They all looked like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. They're all about 22 and have a kid or two and have low income jobs. Eventually they convince her to drink. One sip becomes a whole drink, and one drink becomes three. She is really drunk but still being kinda flirty. I didn't drink anything and played it on the safe side because I was driving. The plan was to leave halfway through and go to a house party. So I drive her and her co-workers there. What a horrible idea. We get there and it's one of the crappiest places I've ever seen. There was a 75-year-old man playing Madden instead of watching the Super Bowl. There was kids running around while people were doing various drugs and talking about selling crack along with pregnant women drinking. Little uncomfortable but duck it. We all play a drinking game, and then the girl goes to go to the bathroom down the hall. About three minutes later two of the co-workers go down the hall to the porch to smoke. About ten minutes goes by, and her ex gets up to go see if the bathroom's open. He comes back and lays this on me. John Ajen is getting ducked by both those guys right now. Don't go in the bathroom. I was absolutely stunned. I had no idea what to do. I sat there and just watched the Super Bowl. Five minutes later she comes out literally pulling her pants up. She completely ignores me and continues playing. Five minutes go by and she goes to smoke weed with another guy. One guy goes to check and comes back to let me know, yeah sorry man she's ducking him now too. The guys at the table start saying how nice a guy I am and that it sucks that I'm her date and she's ducked three guys. Then they start getting weird. They start whispering about me and pointing at me. Was entirely sure either was going to get my ass kicked. She comes back I tell her we're leaving in five. One guy at the table stops me and says wait. She's already ducked Tim, Bill, and Mark, I figured me and Mike could get a go and you can have her the rest of the night. What? The duck. I left immediately with her. Unfortunately her car's at my place. She kept saying the whole car ride that she hates it when this happens and this is why she doesn't drink. 
took the long way home because I knew she was drunk. She tried to prove she wasn't by slapping herself and then saying. I'm not drunk, I see the three yellow lines in the road. I know there's only two, but that's how I know I'm sober. Tell her to stay for an hour knowing I could prolong it so she can sober up. She throws a hissy fit that her phone's dead and her parents are looking for her. She says she has to drive home immediately. Get home. Say K bye. She apologies and leaves saying she'll see me soon. Never talk to her again. She posts on Facebook for three weeks about how bad she ducked up, how her co-workers don't take her seriously, and how she has to move because of it. Thanks for watching. What did you think of the story time? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any more story times.